today we are going to use up some leftovers. Uh, last week my daughter made me some scrambled eggs and bacon and I didn't get to eat it all this week. So today we are going to wrap it in uh, carb balance wraps and we're going to put it in the freezer. So come wrap some leftovers with me so that we can save them and not waste food. I did wash my hands before I did this. I didn't think everybody needed to see me wash my hands. So let's get started. I hope you all had a great day yesterday. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take some of this eggs and break it up. I only have four wraps, so I'm probably gonna put a little too much egg in it. I don't mind my dog. She wants any leftovers. She's a beggar like that. This cheese isn't the normal cheese that I buy but I uh, got it really cheap on Ibotta, so that's why I bought it. I wrapped my wraps a couple of different ways before I freeze them. And then once they are in the freezer and I want to eat them, I take them out. If I take them out the night before, uh, they just have to cook for a couple seconds. If not, Throw them in the microwave or the air fryer for not even a minute, I don't think. And we have breakfast served without me even having to do anything. It's great on those mornings that I wake up late and I have a early morning meeting at work. So yeah, it's always good to think about what you can do ahead of time to make your mornings go a little bit smoother. I would love to hear some comments or to see some comments in the comment section below in regards to what you do to prepare for the week in regards to food and your menu planning and those type of things. I know it's, it's a task. It takes some time to get used to menu planning and preparing for the week. I'm definitely putting way too much egg in these, um, but it's because I only have four wraps and I want to use as much as I can and then I'll probably have whatever's left over for breakfast today. I double wrap these. <coughs> and so I started double wrapping in the wax paper and then the tin foil. I used to just do the tin foil. My dogs are being so good waiting for me to drop something so that they can eat it. Which I don't mind. The one dog that's waiting is a vegetarian so she knows she eats 
Eggs and carrots are her favorite. So, I've got four breakfasts for the week, which is great because I am in the home four days this week, and then I am traveling for work. So, that used up all my carb balance wraps. I don't have a pen, but I'm going to put them in the bag. Find my Sharpie and write on it that they are egg and cheese wraps. Okay, so the first one we're gonna do is the blueberry muffin mix. So, what I was saying was, I make muffins ahead of time and bring with me on my work trip because then I have my breakfast for a few days and I can uh, per diem a breakfast and make a little extra money. So it calls for a half a cup of either water or milk. I usually use water because milk costs me a chunk of money, but I have a couple pieces of muffins. 
camp. Sometimes by the time I get to San Francisco, they're crumbles, which is fine. I'll, I'll eat the crumbles. It's all still makes a muffin. So I'm gonna, these will go in the oven for 17 to 22 minutes. And I'll let you know what they look like when they come out. So one of the things that I do when I travel is I just take like random snacks and try to make my own like little trail mix. So today we're going to use the pasta. This is a great um, little snack mix for the airplane. sitting at my desk. Okay, we are making corn chowder. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna saute our onions. I cut up about a half an onion and it calls for a fourth of a cup of butter. I'd love to hear what everybody else is having on their menu this week because we are definitely getting sick of eating the same things all the time. great to cook from home. It's good on the budget. It's good to work through your pantry and use the items you have before they expire. Wouldn't want to waste money by eating things or not eating things before they expire. Now I'm just adding three tablespoons of flour. That helps thicken the butter and the onions. Whoa. Yeah, I, I don't claim to be the best cook or a fancy cooker for sure. I'm more about quick, easy, quick, easy recipes. We need two tablespoons of sugar. So there's one. package of bacon that I took all the fat off from and cooked it up. So whatever I have, that'll be enough. We usually don't have heavy whipping cream in the house, but my daughter made us homemade Alfredo sauce the other day. And she needed heavy whipping cream and whole milk. So 
that is what we are trying to use up. It calls for a cup and a half of milk. This definitely isn't a uh, Weight Watchers dieting good for you recipe with all this heavy whipping cream and heavy uh, whole milk. But that's all right. We are using what we got. So the only thing that I haven't put in is pepper and the potatoes. So I'm going to let this cook up. A little bit of garlic also. grilled cheese sandwiches. Quick and easy meal. It's, you know, it's soupy, but it'll thicken up, especially after I put it in the refrigerator and then we cheese. I like to dip my grilled cheese, so this might be a pretty good consistency. All right, so this was, is my corn chowder. I'm gonna, oops, take the phone off the stand, show you the recipe in my pot. what order to do it in, how to do it. So I just made it up as I went along. Thanks for joining me.